Hello everyone, welcome to TechTut.com. In this lecture, we will understand what is the problem or problems with simple locking protocol. Okay, so in last lecture, in the example, we have seen that we can use locking to execute the transaction. And whenever we have to use a data or a data item, what do we do? First, we lock the data item, item depending upon the requirement. If it is read, okay, if it is read only, then we use shared lock and if it is ex uh, write then we use exclusive lock okay so we lock the data according to our requirement and then once our use is over once we have used it okay then we release the lock okay so in this lecture we will see how this creates a problem when we execute transactions concur concurrently in interleaved fashion so now I'll using these two transactions only I'll create a schedule here and we will see how it creates problem here I have created a schedule using the same transaction t1 and t2 okay so let's call it s now you can see that first transaction t1 performs a read over a and writes it writes the modified value of a that is first it performs exclusive lock okay then reads it modifies the value then write back okay and then unlock a right meanwhile in between we sh schedule transaction t2 to execute and it performs a shared lock and it reads okay and then unlock then again shared lock on b then read unlock and then display the value then transaction t1 continues to see whether these two are performing correct or not let's start with assuming some value of a okay so let's say this database item A has value 1000 initially okay now what we need to do is if the value is 1000 then here first it performs a lock okay now it reads the value of 1000 A and let's also assume what is the value of B so B is let's say 500 okay so it performs a read of a so here it reads a equal to hundred uh, thousand okay now decreases the value of a that is it becomes 900 and then it writes back the value 900 into a so it is here overridden and written as 900 now now unlocks the data item okay meanwhile in between t2 transaction start execution it and it performs a shared lock on a okay so now database item has a shared lock initially it was exclusive lock so and then it was unlocked so right now it has shared lock now the value is 900 right now so it reads the value so it gets here 900 okay then it's it unlocks it so it will unlock now again it performs a shared lock on b so this has a shared lock okay and then it reads the value of B which is now 500 and then unlocks it so this lock is released now display the value so when it displays the value what will be the value it will be 900 plus 500 that is 1400 right and now this transaction remaining part of the transaction is executed so here it will perform exclusive lock here okay then read the value of b which is 500 okay then add the value 100 in b so it will become 600 and then writes back 600 here so it will become 600 okay and then unlock this data item so unlocks now you can see that this data item uh, this transaction has clearly read a wrong value okay it has displayed 1400 whereas the sum should be 1500 always right okay so this was due to the intermixing of these uh, operations of the transaction and you even we were using this simple locking protocol but this simple locking protocol was not able to protect the consistency okay so if you notice the problem was that this unlocking of a what did you do when your use was over 
I mean when your requirement with A was over when you read it and written it back you released it right and but meanwhile this whole transaction was executed and it read a wrong value of I mean value of A was of course correct correct but B was wrong right so the idea is that if what if we keep this locking till the end okay so once this transaction is executed then I'll unlock this A so if you move unlock this A here now what will happen think about it now let's start from here so this is shared lock right so on data item A there is a shared lock okay on data item A now read is performed so uh, sorry this is a shared lock now when this shared lock is requested on data item A you find that this was already exclusive lock there was exclusive lock on data item A already there was exclusive lock so this shared lock is not granted okay so as this lock was not granted so this execution cannot go further here right so the point is that this unlock was moved here I am repeating myself this unlock was moved here to see if we can move this unlock here then this data item will not be read incorrectly okay but when you move this unlock here what happens is this data item A is still locked okay exclusively locked so when this transaction T2 request a shared lock it is not granted okay it will not be granted because this data item is already locked this A is already locked okay so it's not granted so now this transaction t2 is waiting waiting for lock manager to grant the lock on database item a right and as it is waiting the schedule cannot go further right it cannot go further because it's a schedule the execution has to be in this order right so now it's a infinite waiting okay so this is the problem with simple protocol that's simple locking protocol that's why we introduced two phase locking okay so in next lecture we will understand what is two phase locking so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching